say to then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to some more Super Robot Wars T or X or V. I'm not quite sure. I want to say all three at once. Anyway, there's a. I've been poking around this menu. I haven't really done anything since I recorded those two episodes yesterday. But I'm poking around this menu, and I've noticed a few kind of cool things. Um, so first off, skill learning. In the previous game, you had like this tree where like you had to buy one of the skill to move along the tree. Not the case in this. You literally just buy whatever you want, except for... Oh. We can't get attacked because, you know, the skill level's at maximum. That makes a lot of sense, actually. But yeah, you literally just buy the stuff, so... If you want Proud Ace for everyone, go ahead. I can only afford two right now, but I could buy, like, 20. You also do that with, like, parameters and stuff, too. So, like, I want to make him an, e an S in air combat. I'm not going to. But I could. Also, we have side plan here. And if you're wondering why I keep just sending everyone on patrol, it's because it gets your score up. Now, I don't quite remember if we need, like, legit 50 kills to get aces, or we just have to get 50 score to get aces. It's slightly different, because you get score for doing some other stuff, too. So I'm going to assume it's score, because that's what they're tracking. Oh yeah, and did we get that sub-order? Ooh. So that one gets you a free 5 points. I'm actually going to save that. Because I know you bank them, right? Or you can bank them over certain missions till you unlock another one. So I'm going to save that for a little while. Um, I don't need to give it to any of these people. Well, except for uh, Sagiri. She might need it eventually, because she'll probably be our lowest level, because I don't... I, uh, the character you got in the previous game, I gave him two really good items, and he was literally just, like, death to anything I threw him against, so I kind of stopped using him, and I feel that as a weakness. So I'm gonna try to avoid that if I can. As far as power parts go, I picked up a propellant tank and a repair kit. Don't actually need these right now. The repair kit's actually kind of useful for ships if they don't have a barrier, and the propellant tank... We don't need just yet, so I don't think I'm going to use it. But the thing with these is you can use them, but they're still items after the end. You can only use them in uh, the battle once, though. It's kind of a little bit weird. And I can't afford that, but that's also really good. We'd probably, if we do end up buying this, we'll probably give it to Akito just because that'll allow him to do distortion attack and some other stuff immediately. Oh, right. Um, Bonus scenario. Yep. We have this, too. I don't know what it does. Well, it's the day one DLC thing. And yeah, that's coming through on the recording, so. Ah, I know it's kind of cheap for me to use it, but I'm using it, damn it. Ooh, free tech points, though. So we could get that medallion if we wanted. So what we'll do the uh, quirk booster, which is really freaking useful, or the force reactor, which is more morale? No, wait, he doesn't have any morale ability, so that's actually useful as for him. Actually, we might end up giving that to the Nadesco, weirdly enough. But we'll definitely give her that. That will give her basically a... Uh, and we'll just give her that because we can. Um, the Quark Booster, though, will basically make her, like, our long speed catch kind of unit. We should probably actually give that to Moz, just because it would fill in some of the Super Robot issues. But, meh, we can do that later. Yeah, and he's basically our sniper. And we'll take uh, the this one off if we find a character who has good abilities. Probably someone who has, like, uh, Bullseye or Support and can use it on other people. And as far as customization goes, we have the money, so I can, I guess I can show you guys that one now. Basically, as I said, well, no, let's not. So I'll tell you this now, this is gonna be really disappointing because his ability will only allow him to have a third equipment slot, which late game, super useful. Early on, lame. Do I think the Gisep will have anything else? And I believe Moz gets him a barrier. Can we afford the one for Moz? Because 
you don't really use I or money for anything from upgrading, I don't think. So Energy regen and armor, good too. Um, he gets a barrier at some point, and it's really useful. Though, that was a different Moz, so this one might have a different special. That's always possible. But anyway, we're gonna start. Sorry that took so long, I had... I thought I should explain that stuff. But if you remember in the last episode, we hit a bosun gate to go to Mars. Because screw that three-week journey. Ah, oh, we're not in IBO. Damn. This guy just looks depressed. Also, Domon has a sword, and I'm very disappointed in him. But that is Domon Kashu, the main character from G Gundam. I'm kind of glad he gets introduced so early on. <laughs> Either is one of those characters who doesn't eat a lot, or he's one of those who's perpetually poor. Probably from gambling addiction. <gasps> Best girl! Oh, we don't get Rain, but we get LMB. I'm totally okay with this. That is LMB Beardsley, the Neo Sweden pilot, who pilots the Nobel Gundam, which is the Sailor Moon Gundam. Uh, Domon is probably looking for his brother Kyoji, who stupidly got into the Dark slash Devil Gundam, depending on which continuity you go by. It is now, you know, working with what amounts to Robot Satan. Yay! He's also pretending to be the Neo-Germany pilot and some other stuff, but I don't think that'll happen yet. And spoilers, my bad. Sorry, I just assumed you've seen G Gundam. Or you care enough. I know a lot of people don't like the shonen so they don't watch it. And the sight on that revolver is stupid. Those are some of the mercenaries we fought in this previous stage. And again, my cats are torturing birds. And Vaughn's gonna rescue him? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Vaughn the unemployed. I like this guy. And of course, he's like head gunslinger in the West or whatever. Or he throws. Is that a knife or a gun? I can't tell. This is Super Robot Wars. It could be a gun. Also, I just noticed he has a loop in the end of his hat. I guess that's good for keeping your head lopsided? Ah, uh, he's one of those characters. Gotcha. And that looks like a caterpillar roll with uh, hot mustard, or er, with hot mayo and some sriracha, though uh, they probably use like Worcester sauce or something in Japan. I'm not actually a Japanese trained sushi chef, so I don't quite know. Or Worcester sauce, nah, I figured. But in case you didn't know, trained sushi chef, three years, ton of fun. And by that, I mean pain in the ass. So we're going to end up beating them, and then she's going to join us, because we're going to look for her brother Michael, who disappeared. Who probably joined the Federation and then disappeared, because, you know, press gang. Yeah, and since they called them Federation Forces, not Gallahorn. No IBO. Sad Panda. I 
afraid we don't have cows here. We make the steak out back. He is also probably a cowboy. Oh, okay. Never mind, he was just kidnapped and sold as a slave. That works too. I think that's how that worked, but okay, bro. I'm willing to pay anything. All right, don't pay anything at all. A tuxedo flutters on Mars. Yeah, I figured it was those guys. Oh, hey, uh, Kowloon's guys from Mike Gain. So Mike Gain is in this. Good to know. So that's, a. Uh... God, I can't remember what Kowloon's title is, but he's head of the Chinese Mafia. And they, like, have tentacle attacks, kind of, and they make a really annoying noise. And I'm just imagining that guy is the guy from Fifth Element. <laughs> I like how the grass just says enjoy. You're Domon Cashew! This is post Gundam fight. What the hell? So my friend was talking about a long time ago that uh, they were going to have the continuation manga. Oh. Well, all right then. This is post rain as well. That's interesting. Uh, they're going to have the continuation manga characters and they just might. Uh, if you know Gundam, uh, G Gundam and you don't know, there is a continuation manga, which is the 18th. Uh, Gundam fight, I believe. The one right after that one, where there's a bunch of new characters and the ghost of Master Asia and some other stuff. It's actually pretty good, though the American Gundam's kind of a joke. It's even more cowboy. So this is after that, which is curious. Because Domon is elected, like, king of space or something like that. But this means he def... He and he already has burning. kind of wanted Shining, but Burning works too. And no Bell Gundam! Oh god, that's... Oh no, 13, not, not 17. That is no Bell Gundam, otherwise known as the Sailor Moon Gundam. Its primary weapon is a whip. I made it a horrible, like, blackish goo monster in my... My TRPG of MS Saga. It's a lot of fun. Oh, and she has repair abilities. That's useful. Those cost 300 TP, so... They can be kind of an issue sometimes. Um... Okay, so if we can't kill them on our turn, we need to, do, we need to just damage them so we can kill them on the next turn. And do you have support attack by chance? You do. So we're going to move you here. Oh, first I should do this. Let's see, you have Head Vulcans, useful, Beam Hoop, and Burning Finger. I was not expecting that. Also, Burning Finger goes through barriers, useful. And what do you have specifically? Support attack, Fighting Spirit, what does that one do? Not bad, potential. So, as damage goes up, or as you get more damage, the better they are. It's the Shonen ability. And Domone Cashews. We got the Vulcan Cannon, Machine Cannon, which is the Shoulder Mounted Cannons. Burning Slash, which is the Beam Saber, and Burning Strike. Which, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you have King of Hearts. Potential 7, which would be really useful. Fighting Spirit and Instinct. Is that when morale is below? Oh, okay, so you get better when you have higher morale. Gotcha. And spirits-wise, you have Persist. Useful, though it's only one battle. Focus and Intuition, also really useful. 
So, she has the good abilities, Domon does not, but whatever. So we want to encourage them to go after Domon so he can deal damage to them. And if we can't kill them, we can't kill them. Um, so with a lot of the might gain stuff... Oh, I didn't notice there were different mobile suits over there. Um, with a lot of the might gain stuff, they can't move and attack. Are those Dwattages? Hey, Maxter Gundam! Chibity Crockett, the American Gundam. It's a football player with guns. Sadly, Tequila Gundam isn't in this, which is the Neo-Mexico mobile suit. He is the queen, uh, no, uh, he's the jack of hearts, I want to say. Yeah. How both Gundam's in this. Oh, and then, yeah. God damn it, Domo. Alright, we'll use the main character as it instead then. Oh hey, we do get Erupting Burning Finger. Cool. Uh, can Alan be moved to right there? She can. Oh, um, you a Dwadge? Yeah, you're a Dwaj. So these are upgraded versions of the Dom or the MS09 Dom. This is the Dwaj, not to get confused with the Pezun Dwadage, which is a slightly different mobile suit. Uh, these were primarily used in Double Zeta by uh, Desert Rommel's forces. I can't for the life of me rem recall uh, their official title, but it was Desert Rommel was the guy who did most of them. And yes, we're completely ignoring Chibity. It's a Godzilla C, though. It has a pilot. They might be bandits, but they're still people, damn it. Oh, well. This one's an AI, apparently. Alright, and no Bell Gundam. Beam Hoop. Uh, that guy. Hopefully they go after Domo and not the no Bell Gundam, but <laughs> we have to. Okay, so Rain is still a character in this. Interesting. She's not dead. Don't get hit. Sweet. Alright, yeah, so if we can just damage them, it'll be fine. So there's these four here. I'm gonna try to get them all to attack Domon so we can kill them. And then we'll just take out people over here. Oh well, you can see what feelers looks like. You'd never go into battle and not clock in. You need that hazard pay, damn it.
All right, so there's that, and Chibity has Magnum, Maxter Strike, and Burning Punch. Oh, weirdly enough, he doesn't have, you know, King of Hearts or whatever you want to call it. Oh, we don't know what Domones is yet either, but we will eventually. I'm assuming he's going to join us after the battle. Usually that's how this goes. I'll try to talk to him if we can, though, because those are generally fun. Okay, cool. Can we have you use... We could go head cannons, but... So if we have to, we'll damage them all and just pull Alan B back. But if you're wondering, that is a one-year war beam saber that they're reusing. It is modified to, I believe, thir be 30% more powerful, but they have this annoying issue where they literally melt. Wait, I legitimately just recognized that they're actually calling it the Burning Gundam and not the God Gundam. Does this mean they actually, like, addressed the wiki? Or, like, watched the show? God damn it. You are not attacking, you are evading. Yeah, we're pulling LNB back. You're also not attacking, you are evading. Command intuition. We, yeah, we can't burning finger just yet, sadly. But we'll see how what the Maxter's attack looks like, even if it's gonna miss. But yeah, so we'll pull Allen B back so that we can have Domon get four kills next round. Assuming there's no talk option between uh, Chibity and Domo, no. Alright, so we're... And yeah, you don't have any of the movement abilities and you can't boost dash. You can hover, though. Useful. It changes their uh, terrain from ground to uh, sky. Or air, which is actually a bit worse for her, so... I kind of damaged her, or gimped her a little bit doing that, but it's fine. So, we're actually going to go here, use the plasma sword on this guy. I mean, he has better equipment than you do right now, but you have less points, so you're getting the kills. Press the burn. And we're gonna Magna Launcher. Alright, so Dome owns the other one, so what's machine cannon? Okay, so we've hurt you, hurt you. 
This is just to damage them so next round we can kill them. Yeah, that's about what should be expected with a machine gun. Machine cannon attack. Alright, so... Cool. I am okay with that. Oh wow, you got hit. And we don't have the ability that heals 10% anymore, so... Really? You got hit? But good job. Uh, you're just gonna evade. Or... Can you Burning Finger yet? No, you can't. Yeah, you're gonna evade. Yep, that's fine. And can it learn how to dodge? They're probably gonna get reinforcements after this. LNB does have the repair kit though. But yeah, this is just burning finger, we've seen it before. Yay, we got f Oh, did we only need to get four kills with the same person? Because we've only got three this round. Oh, I must have massively re uh, misread that. Maybe it's we had to get four kills on the enemy phase, not all on the same turn. But yeah, we'll have Domon do an awesome kill. Um, oh, we can't Vulcan Cannon. So, yeah, we're going to have Domon do an awesome kill after this. We're going to have him, you know... Critical Strike, uh, Main Strike, Erupting Burning Finger him. It'll be great. beat you three times, including when you were in your DG form. So we're going to smash it. And direct attack. Move you forward. Well, real quick. Do you have the... You do have that. You have enough to do that. So we're gonna move you to here. Okay, that's gonna kill him. If we don't have a support attack... Oh, well, never mind, then. That's also gonna kill him. I'm curious. Will this kill him? Yes, yes, it will. Because he's at 75% HP. Should really check these things. And the Peace Day Resistance. You better not miss. That English.
Um, usually with stuff like this, if there's a named enemy who has like a confrontation with the character, there's something like points where depending on certain things you do to them, you'll get points towards them joining you later. But I'm pretty sure Chibity and the entire Shuffle Alliance are going to be like guaranteed joins. So I don't think it's a thing. Same thing like Viral in that one game. You know that stained glass is really well put together for, you know, the rest of that building? I swear, every time I hear that, I think my cats are torturing something. And I feel real bad. Ain't, ain't that forward. Plus, aren't you like 10? No, you're probably 16. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing they either do end up getting married or get into a relationship by the end. The <laughs> Dine and Dasher. <laughs> Of course he has power armor. Or, you know, a Kevlar jacket in the suit. Okay, so he does use a sword. Alright then. I'm assuming it's a gun blade, though, and it has a gun inside of it. Yeah, more reinforcements, I figured. If you just destroy his head, that ends a Gundam fight. Everyone knows that. That's that trick you used with Neo Mexico. And destroyed the greatest Gundam known to man. The Tequila Gundam, which is literally a cactus with a sombrero and revolvers. I mean, like, what's more representative of Mexico than that? The American Gundam, which is a football player that also boxes and has revolvers? And then the second American Gundam, which is literally a cowboy. Not gonna lie, pretty cool. There is no one left. What do you have, sir? Ye. Or is that Y2? Are you part of Y2K? You're part of Y2K, aren't you? Longsword throw, machete, and dual wield machete. And we need five more morale for that, so that's not too hard. What are your spirits? Bullseye. Super useful. Guaranteed hit. Okay, so... Uh, whoops.
Okay, so yeah, no moving attacks for you, so we have to be careful. Um, besides that, we've literally killed everyone else, so I'm not worried about it. But you're not going to join up with us for like three stages, and then you'll officially join up for us when your next plot point happens. Have you ever seen a Japanese Western? They will literally write at people saying Konnichiwa and they'll be writing the wrong way. Like, they'll be writing kind of weird because the saddles aren't uh, the high back ones like you're supposed to use in a Western. And it, it cracks me up every time. Yeah, so they can't hit us, so we should be good there. Um, I don't assume you have regeneration, do you? Because that could be dangerous if you don't. But, uh, Machete? With, uh, with the Daniel Trejo? Okay, so yeah, you... You can actually attack and move. Useful. What I meant in my brain was a reaction attack, but... Yeah, some units have this. Super useful. Alright, so somebody who's seen that anime, is he yelling chest or Chester? I'm gonna assume he's yelling for some dude named Chester because that's more fun. Um, can you dual wield machetes? You can. turn yep you hit me I hit you back and killed you that's probably gonna happen one more time hey he got to so he is on eight points he's now our lowest beyond Allenby who I'm gonna be honest with you if Allenby joins us we'll outside of battles where we have to use her we probably won't be using her which as sad as it is it's just facts Yeah, he's not going to join us. He'll join us in, like, three, four missions time, probably. Figured he was sold off as a slave. Makes a lot of sense. Ah, that's the guy you're looking for. While you're bumming around doing random mercenary work. Gotcha. Please tell me his name's Kyoji. Oh wait, no. They've already found Kyoji. Kyoji's already dead. Okay. The claw. Where'd you take my claw? Oh, I'm so thankful for you returning our claw. Yes, Skyrim references. That's what I'm going for. You know that claw you get in the first dungeon and you have to return to the... You have to return to Camilla, and, you know, her brother, who I can never remember his name in the first town. Yeah, I was making references to that. You know when you're scraping the bottom of the barrel, when you're quoting Skyrim. As long as it's not Prime Minister Ulbe, we'll be fine. Oh. Yep. From Neo Sweden, not from Sweden. It's different. 
I believe Neo Sweden's also a giant Swedish flag instead of actually looking like Sweden. Oh, right. Um, basically, it's an HLV. Like, it's just a recolored HLV. It's kind of weird. I, I know they're, like, showing that, like, their relationships on the rocks or whatever, but I'm pretty sure she's either, you know, pregnant or working. Equal odds of both. Probably the working one, though, because I don't think they would pull something like that. I believe that did happen in the sequel manga, or at least it was hinted at, because Dumbone was only there for like 13 pages. Yep, yeah, of course she wants to be part of it, because she wants to find her brother. old military or old mercenary company uniform or something like that but well now we'll do that next episode anyway folks i hope you all enjoyed it if you did you should like if you didn't you should dislike dan on thursday i wasn't expecting that but apparently this is dan on thursday but van actually joined us which is surprising and of course we got the burning and no bell gundam which is interesting um as far as that goes Oh yeah, he took a shot at Allenby. That's not going to screw anything up, is it? If it is, I can always replay the stage. It's not going to take me too long. Since I can skip the cutscene, it would probably take about, you know, five minutes. Oh yeah, occasionally when you go into the shop after a battle, you get money. If you don't do it immediately after the battle, though, you lose money. Or you lose the chance on the money. So, I try to go to the shop even if I'm not going to buy anything. But, ooh, free money. Usually you get tack points for that, which that'll probably happen later. But we could customize another thing if we wanted to. But yeah, anyway, folks, if you enjoyed the episode, you should like. If you didn't, you should dislike. We'll be back tomorrow with more. Good night, folks.